Hey guys, this is MacHeads101, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a new app that we made to jam wireless networks from your Mac. Now before I get into this video, let me just give a quick um, reminder that any trouble you might get in using this or any damage you might do, we're not liable for that. Um, and we recommend that you only use this application on your own network for testing purposes and experimentation. But anyway, let me hop right into the tutorial. So the first thing is to download Jam Wi-Fi, which is our application, from the description of this video. Once you've got it downloaded, just go ahead and open it up and type your administrator password. Now the app only needs your administrator password because it has to access the raw hardware in your computer and in order to do that it needs to be running as a privileged user. But let me go ahead and click OK. And now this window will pop up. So the first step you're going to need to take with this window is to hit this deauth button in the corner. The second you hit deauth it'll disconnect your current computer from Wi-Fi. It won't start jamming Wi-Fi or anything like that. It'll just disconnect you from Wi-Fi. So you can't be doing anything with the internet while you're going through this process. You know, you can't be downloading anything because the second you hit deauth, it's going to disconnect you from Wi-Fi. But I'm going to go ahead and tap that even though I'm already disconnected just for the purpose of example. So once you've hit deauth, you're going to want to hit scan. Scan will start to make a list of all the networks in range of your computer. And here I only have one and it's my Wi-Fi network. So this table will contain the channel number, which is a Wi-Fi specific piece of information, you don't really have to worry about that. The network name, which is probably what you're going to be looking at. And then the BSSID, which is a unique identifier for the Wi-Fi network. Now some Wi-Fi networks will actually have more than one entry here with more than one BSSID because there are repeaters in the Wi-Fi network. Um, so in order to select all of those, you can just hold control while clicking items in this list and it'll select more than one item at once. Or you can use the shift key, anything like that, to select more than one network at once. Now once you have the network selected that you want to jam, go ahead and click jam. And now it's going to show you a list of all the devices that are currently on the network. Now I've got no devices currently on my network, so let me pull out my phone and connect it to my Wi-Fi. And now my phone just popped up right here. So right here in this table, you'll see a little checkbox next to every machine that's connected to the Wi-Fi. You just want to want to check the checkboxes next to whatever you want to jam. This table that says station, this is the unique identifier of the device. And then this BSSID column is the unique identifier of the network that the device is connected to. Now I happen to look and check and make sure that this is my device ID, but for the most part you're not really going to be worrying about this, you're just going to want to leave all of the devices checked because you're going to be jamming all of the devices on the network. So once I have this device selected and I've got it picked out, I'm going to hit do it. Now it's actually jamming my phone and disconnecting my phone from the Wi-Fi. So every time this number goes up one, so you can see it's doing that pretty quickly. What that means is that it sent another signal to my phone to disconnect from the Wi-Fi. Now what this means is every time it does that, my phone is going to disconnect, and even if my phone tries to reconnect to the Wi-Fi, it's going to get disconnected right away because you can see how quickly this is happening. And in fact, it goes this quickly even if there are more than one computer. You know, if there are 10 or 15 computers here, it'll still go very fast, and it'll prevent all of the computers from being on the Wi-Fi. And this box right here, Actively Scan for Clients, will make it so if I connect another computer to the same network, this application will immediately pick it up and add it to this table right here and start deauthing it right away. But let me go ahead and stop doing this because I want to have Wi-Fi on my phone. But anyway, like I said in the beginning of this video, don't use this application for malicious purposes. You know, it's very easy to just go out in public and select all of the Wi-Fi networks and then just hit jam and hit do it and then, you know, all of the devices will be disconnected and it's hilarious, but it's illegal, so don't go ahead and do that unless it's legal wherever you live, which I'm not sure what the laws are like in other places of the world, but in the United States, this is definitely illegal to do on a Wi-Fi network that isn't yours. Um, but I find it helpful, especially on your own Wi-Fi network, if let's say you don't want to set a password, but you notice that your neighbors are using your Wi-Fi or something like that, you can go ahead and jam your Wi-Fi, figure out the uh, MAC address, the station ID of all of the computers that you own, 
uncheck those, and then just jam your neighbor's computer continually. Now, one of the setbacks of this program is obviously that you can't use the internet while using it. Um, so that is actually a big disadvantage. You know, you can't run this while browsing, and in order to jam the Wi-Fi, you have to be running this application. The second you quit the application, the Wi-Fi will no longer be jammed. It'll go back to working fine. Um, but anyway, I hope a lot of you found this helpful. So thanks for watching, subscribe, and goodbye.